What's up guys, it's Vive Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some easy ways to make hundreds of thousands of coins on FIFA 21. Now if you are enjoying the content or you are new around here, I ask that you guys jump over to the channel here and you hit that subscribe button. We're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of FIFA 21, so it would mean a lot if you guys did subscribe. And then if you enjoy live streams, make sure to jump over to Twitch here, drop me a follow. I'm going to try to be streaming daily this entire summer, so please go drop me a follow. And then with all that said, let's go ahead and let's get right into this trading method. So guys, what I'm going to be showing you today is actually something that's fairly simple, but I think flies under the radar a little bit in terms of just a really, really easy way to make coins. So right now with Team of the Season out, as we know, there's tons and tons of upgrade SBCs. Like right now, it's Premier League Team of the Season. We got all sorts of like Premier League premium upgrades, player picks, normal Premier League upgrades, all sorts of stuff. So a lot of rare cards are up in price right now. So what I want to show you is if we go gold rare Premier League center back right now, these guys are selling for about 1,300 coins right now. As you can see, there's only two on the market there at 1,300. Now, when you sell at 1,300 coins, you actually only lose 65 on tax. So what I typically do is I try to pick these guys up at about 1,100. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. Now, if you pick them up at 1,100, sell at 1,300, that's still 135 coins after tax, which is still some solid profit. Now, what a lot of people might want to do is just sit here and snipe. And you can try that, but I really don't think it's that efficient. And it's typically really hard to pick the cards up because there's a lot of people trying to snipe these. As you can see, they pop up pretty quickly, but a lot of times they're just difficult difficult to pick up. So what I like to do is I like to do this method called mass bidding, where basically I'm going to go in here and actually I'm going to set my max bid price to a thousand and these all go for 1300. So now I'm going to go through and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bid 1000 on every card that I can here. Maybe if there's no bid on it, I bid like 850, see what happens. Even that one got a 1500 coin bid on it. So I'll just go a thousand on all of these. It makes it quicker if you just do it like this. You pick a price you're going to bid on all these and just go for it. So just see what happens. As you can see, someone's going through and bidding on all these ones. So what you do is you just skip ahead a few pages. It's still, I've skipped ahead a few pages and there's still only a minute and a half until these expire. And as you can see, I can start bidding on all these cards. Now with this method, a lot of times, some of the cards you're gonna get outbid on or there, some people are just gonna do the buy now price and you're not gonna get it. But the idea with this is you're not trying to bid the minimum on every card like these Soyonchus. I could bid 650 and watch them and try to get them for cheaper. But the idea is you're bidding on as many cards as possible and just trying to win as many as possible at the end. So before the video, I went through and I got I went and picked up some cards to show you without mass bidding, just to show you that you are able to pick them up cheaper if you want. But I prefer picking a price and doing mass bidding just because I find it easier to pick the cards up and overall just more efficient. I think you get a lot more cards if you do it like this. And as you can see, some, some people do the same exact thing, which shows you that it's a viable method. And whenever someone, you find a couple cards in a row where you can't bid on it because someone's doing it, just skip a few pages ahead and get ahead of whoever's trying to bid with you and just start bidding a thousand and you'll start winning lots and lots of cards. So if we go ahead and look at our transfer targets here, some were winning, some were not winning. So if we take a look, this Cody before the video, I won for 1100. I could also do 1100, still be making 135 coins profit. But on every card I've won for 1000, I'm going to be making 235 coins profit. So basically four cards wins you 1000 coins. Now I would say you could win four cards in a minute pretty comfortably. And that'll be 1000 coins. So you can make 60k an hour just flipping cards like this. And as you can see, this David Louise here, we won for a thousand. We'll list him thirteen hundred. This Soyonchu, we actually got seven fifty. We'll list him thirteen hundred. This Soyonchu, we got nine hundred. Again, list him thirteen hundred. And you just go through. And sometimes it might be worth it to check certain players, see if they go for a little bit more at the time. But I'm just gonna list these thirteen hundred right now for the video's sake. And they'll sell on just to show you that they do sell on very quickly and you're getting your coins back from this method almost instantaneously. And you pick these cards up so quickly and you flip them so quickly that the coins you're making, it's just outrageous. Like I've probably done like 10 cards right there and at 400 coins a piece, not even probably so call it 250 
that's the minimum we're making basically it was 250 a piece on a lot of those so you're making 250 a piece and i've done 10 cards we've made two and a half th thousand coins just like that and a lot of times it depends if there's other people doing the method and you can bounce around the leagues and positions to see what works best for you i've just been doing prem center back because it's been working pretty well for me but guys, if you have any questions, make sure to just let me know. But that's going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video.